Fairgrounds today helped make sure that county health officials are prepared in case of a large-scale emergency. News 18's Elizabeth Rentschler joins us now with more on the focus of the exercise and why it was a race against time. Elizabeth. In this particular scenario, an anthrax outbreak had occurred across the entire county. For health officials, that meant treating as many patients as possible as quickly as possible. No, okay, uh, go ahead and sign in. And you're able to swallow pills okay? It was a race against time. <laughs> and for these actors, time was everything. Am I still going to have anthrax? It was all part of a training scenario put on by the Tippecanoe County Health Department as required by the CDC. Tuesday, the focus was a massive anthrax outbreak, which sent residents into a panic. I need my insulin. I forgot it. I forgot to take it. We have. The general public coming through to basically see how fast we could dispense medications to the general public. In this case, the general public was played by actors and nurses, played by health department employees and nursing students. But this training is about as real as you can get. I better hurry. I don't feel so good. I was a diabetic and apparently I forgot my insulin. I hadn't taken it for a while and so my sugar rose and then I started having an attack. Can I help you? Officials had to be prepared to deal with not only certain types of medical issues, but other complaints that might come from people during a stressful situation. But in reality, people are going to wait a really long time. They're going to be frustrated. They're going to be hot. They're going to be tired. They're going to be hungry. They're going to be panicked over the situation that is happening. The wait shouldn't have to be too long. At least that was the hope of the health department, which tried to treat every patient that walked through the door as fast as they could. If you don't have any other questions, there you go. We did 75 people in 29 minutes and 44 seconds, which we're really pretty proud of ourselves for doing it because I think we did a really good job. I'm going to go ahead and give you a handout. If you're okay. not and you're preventing, it's stockless cycling. That's the difference. The entire training scenario only lasted about an hour, but in that hour, participants learned skills they say will stick with them forever. It gives me a little bit of peace of mind to know that we really do think about these things before something bad happens, um, that we're not just waiting for the other shoe to drop. The Centers for Disease Control requires counties that receive grants to go through training once every two years. The fairgrounds is just one of five places where officials say mass treatment could be offered in an emergency situation. Elizabeth Rentschler.